Again, Girona, we have to give a lot of credit to them because Barcelona tried, didn't get enough. And in the end, it was Girona who managed to get those three points. So congratulations to getting in the Champions League next season. And we continue enjoying this fantastic football. Ale, Barcelona shipped four today. And I think Ter Stegen had like a good game, right? It could have been a lot worse. Uh, yes, it could have. Now, let's take it to the point to where Barcelona looked to be in control. And Luis was just mentioning that. They were up 2-1 early part of the second half, it is Barcelona that is carrying the momentum of the game, that is attacking Girona, that is creating opportunities, but they're messing around with the ball in and around the 18-yard box. And as we're watching the game, we're thinking, you know what, Barcelona's gonna give up a goal. Mm. Now, frankly, they give up the goal in the worst of circumstances because it is indeed another individual mistake. Yes, okay, that's well documented. What troubles me, if I were a Barcelona fan, is you give up the goal, you made a mistake, it's only 2-2. Two, two. There's still a game to be won. How does a game go from you winning 2-1 to a total collapse within minutes now trailing two goals? It, it, that in itself paints the picture of how vulnerable and fragile this team is. And it's not only physically, but mentally, how fragile this team cannot withstand individual mistakes and how fragile this has been over the course of the whole season. That one mistake blows up, and I'm only using the term because uh, Luis says dynamite. Yeah, blows up the whole performance now. Look, mistakes do happen. It's a game that is riddled with mistakes. When you play, this game that we all love, there are going to be mistakes everywhere. And it's how you react to those sort of circumstances. Barcelona, Sergio Roberto makes a mistake and everybody just heads down, shoulders down. And all the domination and control they had up until that point, gone, gone, gone. Out the door, gone. Only one team wanting to win the game, and that was Girona. Only one team showing personality, and that was Girona. So well-deserved Girona, who has won two matches in a row against Barcelona. So it's no accident. It's no coincidence. Girona are ahead of Barcelona because they deserve it, because they have been better over the course of the season than Barcelona has. Girona, 4-2 winners. They're in second place. Barcelona falls to third, and Real Madrid locked in in first place as we take another look at Plaza de Cibeles. Gathering crowd still, not, uh, not quite, although we do have some uh, police presence there, some cars as well. The fans in Madrid getting ready to celebrate yet another league title. Let's uh, focus then on the champions. Uh, Luis, what's, what's the most impressive thing about this Real Madrid title this year? The most impressive thing is that consistency. They've been unbelievable. Every single week in and week out, they've been managing to get the result. Just with enough, to get a result. That's Real Madrid. It doesn't matter who has been playing. I mean, Ancelotti has done an amazing job in the beginning of the season. You lose the, the, your, your first uh, keeper. You lose the, to the center pass with Alaba and just being around in Militao um, out of the season uh, for almost eight months. We have seen uh, Militao getting, him, getting back. But it doesn't matter. That's the way that Real Madrid, that, that mentality of we have to win it. Today, I, I was very impressed with Ancelotti the, after the press conference. And he was asked about Ardagule, why he was replaced in the second half. And he just said, I've been signed to win games, to win trophies, not to give opportunity to the youngster. That's the mentality of this Real Madrid. It doesn't matter if they play uh, for, uh, uh, in Champions League, in the Cup, in the Super Cup, or in La Liga. They have the mentality of the winner. We have to win. It doesn't matter how. If we need to uh, get the last game goal, and we've seen so many this season, uh, from uh, Real Madrid. Corner kick, I just remember, I think it was against Alavés, 92nd minute, Lucas Vázquez scoring a header from the six-yard box. That's Real Madrid. That's what they don't, and that's the most impressive thing. It doesn't matter who is involved, they always manage to get the result. Luis, it doesn't matter how, it also doesn't matter who. We saw that today. Ten changes in the team today that beat Cádiz from the team that played in the Champions League midweek. I mean, Carlo Ancelotti, Ale, no matter who he rolls out there, seems to get a tune out of this Real Madrid squad. And, and I think that's a critical point here when it comes to Carlo Ancelotti and Real Madrid. I have no issues whatsoever, and no doubts really whatsoever, to say that this is the most impressive coaching job that we have seen from Carlo Ancelotti. Because he had every built-in excuse to say, I don't know about this season, guys. I don't know. Where are my goals? And Saudi Arabia with Karim Benzema. Where's my goalkeeper? Thibaut Courtois out with an ACL. Where are my center backs? Out with ACL injuries. He had every excuse possible to say, I don't know that we're really going to compete at the highest level this season. 
And instead of excuses, he got to work. And he shifted players around. And he rotated players around. And he told to a many, you're going to play center back. I know you don't like it, but you're going to play center back. And Camavinga, you're going to help me out of left back. I know you don't like it, but that's the job we need you to do. And Vinny, stop fighting with this people, that people, and those people over there. Concentrate on the game. And that's how he produces goals. And Jude, just do you. Whatever you're doing in the beginning of the season, we're going to put you in a role. We're going to feature you inside the 18-yard box. And he's scoring goals. There's a lot that happened with Real Madrid that doesn't happen by accident. There are the hands of Carlo Ancelotti everywhere on this team. He has been impressive. His team has been impressive. No question, no doubt that they have been by far, and I mean by far, the most consistent team in La Liga. Warm up the bus, turn up the lights, time to go home. Oh no, time to go to Cibeles and celebrate. Time for the fans to go to Cibeles. We're here, the team is very focused on the Champions League, so they're not gonna, gonna go to the, uh, to the fountain here, to Cibeles Plaza. What do you think, Ale? That doesn't sound like Ancelotti. Ancelotti seems like kind of a laid back guy. Let, let no, the guys no, enjoy no, it. No, 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 that's all right. Let's, uh, how about, they can enjoy it after Wednesday night. Mm. How about that? Let's do that. And I think the players would agree. It, 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 this is right now, you've, you've achieved one goal, which is winning La Liga, of course, but you have something in front of you that is very attainable and very special to this club, and that is advancing through the semifinals of Champions League and putting yourself in a position in which you can once again claim a Champions League title. Luis, these images must break your heart with your Barcelona and Atleti ways, no? <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, I mean, I, 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 it hurts me when I don't see Real Madrid performing well and getting the result. Right now, I'm, I'm, I enjoy watching them and play today. Once again, they managed to, to get a good result, but we saw some good football from players that are not used to play every single weekend. And that's something that I like to, to see. I like to see Brian Diaz on the field showing his qualities of techniques. The value hasn't been involved for quite a long time and today it was very good into the midfield so I think that in the end uh, we have to give credit to Real Madrid what they've done of course watching them enjoy another uh, trophy no it's not the best uh, way of finishing my weekend but uh, again I've lived far away enough to the Cibeles so I cannot hear the beeping and the celebration of the Real Madrid fans <laughs> there you go <laughs> Oh, a little bitterness there at the end. <laughs> what, what we would expect little, from our guy, uh, given his past background. I, 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 I love Mr. Real Madrid, the way they're playing. Dani Ceballos, great performer. I don't want anybody beeping outside my door. That's right. Keep it down outside of uh, Luis's penthouse apartment there in the uh, Spanish capital.